to my channel. Here. Hey everybody, today's video is a little bit different. It's going to be a review and kind of show you how I use this onion cutter. This is the aftermath. I already had you said I already have recorded for you guys, but I'm going to be showing you how I use this onion cutter and how you can find it and how it looks and how you can use it i know it's dirty because i already use it like i told you so stay tuned for the whole video and of course this video is a double for two i'm also going to show you how i did my tuna salad my tuna salad is delicious and layla and luna love it and i do too so please click subscribe if you haven't done so and if you haven't and let's get started to the video Pop device and this device is from the Walmart like I told you is by Progressive is our brand Progressive so we have this if you open it you have the blades inside you can see blade 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 and then it has like a storage thing you can take the blade off and then store it in the uh, refrigerator if you like to clean it it comes with one of these little brushes little combs that is easy to poke in whatever things you have here or to drag anything that is stuck in between these little pushes that that actually push your vegetable your fruit down so to get going with our tuna salad let's go ahead and do the veggies in here I have my cucumber here I will cut my onion here and I have my tomato which I cut in slices already and we'll do the same thing to our onion so let's get started And there you have it. I have all of my tomato already cut in here. You can see that I have the rest of my tomatoes here. And my tomatoes are completely uh, squared out. Very easy, very nice. The only thing that I have noticed with this is with the onions. If the onions are not fresh, they're a little bit wittery, like they're kind of old, it's a little bit harder to do it with this. But when they're fresh, it's pretty good. So remember, you can grab your you can grab your that was a tomato is a fruit so let's try the cucumber the cucumber has a different consistency a different texture than a tomato would have so let's see tomatoes let's check they were a bit thicker they're way thicker than my tomato was so look at this very easy very very easy to you can see a little bit better here uh, you can see that the tomatoes were a little bit harder to look to see but in the cucumbers you can see that are it's totally squared out so we can continue and add in it to where we're putting our tuna salad I think with one cucumber it's good enough because this cucumber was kind of big so now we're gonna do our onion Okay, so I have my onion. My onion was pretty big, so I cut it in slices just like this. But our thing here, it's a little bit small, so I'm going to try and do it um, kind of similar to the size of this. Progressive. Now, you can see here, this device is targeting to onions, push onions, because the onions are a little bit, um, I could say, they're the most hated. <laughs> vegetable to cut because it makes you cry and that's why I think they're tr they're targeting it more to the onion and I think the onion is the hardest to cut in this device because if your onion is not fresh it's not gonna cut easily I don't have a bad onion um, and an old onion so I can test but you see it's hard it's hard to cut it's hard to cut the onion and the thing gets stuck a little bit see I have to like have look and now my top is actually coming together it's a little bit hard to cut the onion so if they targeted to the onion they could have done it a little bit better 
but it does great with any other fruit. I have cut here, um, I have cut onion like you saw, tomato, I have cut um, cucumber, I have cut jicama, I have cut cilantro, peppers, um, and I think that's the only things that I have tried in this device that it actually um, works fine. But the, the one that has give, given me more time or a little bit more difficulty is with the onion. And it's targeted to the onion. I hope I have the box. But I will insert a picture of how it looks in the box. But, yeah. So, let's continue with our recipe and our review. You can simply take off the top as well. If you just want to have... If you just want to have the device here, like you can see here, if you scoot the, the the your whatever that you're having, let me put the lid back so you can see. I'm gonna put this one so it's a bit easier. Um, you can put um, whatever that you need of onion. You can see here, I have half of a cup here because it has measurements. It has an increment of half of cup, so it's half a cup, a cup, a cup and a half and two cups so it's a lot so it's nice that it has the cups and on the other side you have millimeters so 100 millimeters 200 300 400 and 500 millimeters so that's very helpful for this device to actually help you if you don't have like the actual cups um it'll just tell you with this device so let's go ahead and add add our onion over here where we have the rest of our ingredients I think that's enough of onion. I don't like onion a lot. So, I'm going to add our lettuce over here that is a little bit yuckety yuckety. It's getting old. I'm only going to do a little bit because I do use this lettuce for my husband's uh, lunch. And with the pandemic, I don't go often. We're going to add our corn, and our corn doesn't need to be cut. We'll add it to our device, our container here. Just like this. And in here, you can add jalapenos, jalapenos or pepper, but I am literally out of jalapenos. I literally don't have, and I don't like to add it either because my daughters love tuna salad and I don't add it for them. I'm gonna add a little bit more salt. So I, either way, I don't have uh, jalapenos, but if you add jalapenos, they're also very delicious. Now your salad, you can eat it with a tostada. You can you can eat it with um, some tostadas. For tostadas, I recommend the yellow brand, not the green one. Guerrero yellow brand is a little bit better. Or you can make yourself a sandwich with just like uh, bread, or use one of these artesano bakery bakery buns. These are delicious. Or you can use their sandwich um, buns or sandwich breads are also good. Or you can also just eat it with saltines. Really nice and salting it out and delicious. So our salad is complete. And now we can cover it up and put it in the refrigerator or you can if you have these you can transfer them over to a picnic at the park or anything like that but to continue with our review of our or to tell you about this device 
from Progressive, the onion cutter. I give it a five stars out of five. It does I recommend for you to keep this inside of the device whenever it's that you're finished using it or have it in a place that you know you're gonna have little gadgets like I keep it where where I have my my straw cleaners for my daughter's sippy cups and such. But this is what I do. Look for this. Um, I use my my faucet here in the spray mode and kind of like spray it out first try to get anything that i can with the with the sprayer or the shower thing here then after that i use the little brush and then just poke at it and make sure like just try to take out everything the one that gets stuck the most is it is the onion and sometimes the tomato but look at this you can take it off easily with this and one side it is the sharp side so the other side you can touch and it won't cut you i haven't cut myself with with this but um i don't recommend you that you just put your hand and make yourself queer so you can see this so basically Basically, this is all clean. Look at that. Very clean. Now, this, this container, of course, Easy Peasy Lemon Squeezy. Clean. <laughs> so you literally like have to scrub it, you know, like I'm showing you it's very easy to do. Now, this is the part that it comes tricky. If you don't, if you lose this, it's going to be hard to take out the things and most likely you're going to leave something in there. So, you, I do this, I go like this, look at all this. Look at all that. All this stays inside of the plastic and this little brush makes it easy for you to clean it out. I like to go like this and then use it to the side. Then open the water and rinse it out. Make sure you take everything. If you use it like this, I think it doesn't take as much as I if you use it like a spoon kind of like this to take everything out because look at this see we still have some things in there and then for last I keep it with the water and then and you see like that I keep it um, I make sure it dries completely with my dishes. I have a lot of dishes at the moment, <laughs> but I just put it in my dishes uh, to dry, um, make sure that the, 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 knife, the knife part also dries pretty good. So while that gets dry, I keep my little brush here in my window for safekeeping right there, but that's how it gets clean. It does say that it, it, I did say it has a little bit of more difficult with the onion, but if you get fresh onions, it's pretty much easy. You just have to press a little bit firmer than with the other fruits or vegetables. But other than that, yeah, that is all that I have for you guys today. My tuna salad and my review and my shareable thoughts about the onion cutter uh, for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Comment down below if you already have one. If you haven't found one, go get it at the Walmart. And if so, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Goodbye. Bye.